How to create and simulate an Arduino-controlled blinking LED circuit using TINA. In this tutorial video, we will create and simulate the Arduino-controlled blinking LED circuit on the screen with TINA. Arduino is an open source platform for building electronics projects. It consists of an open source hardware called Arduino Board and an integrated development environment, IDE software, to write the MCU control code in a simplified version of C++, then compile and upload the code to the board. TINA and TINA Cloud provide an extensive support for Arduino. You can simulate, debug, and bring your design to life in a mixed circuit environment before uploading it to the board. First, download and install the latest Arduino program from the Arduino website. Set the Arduino path in TINA as follows before using Arduino for the first time. Click on the Analysis menu on the toolbar. Select Options. Press the Advanced button in the Analysis Options window. Next, click the Select Arduino Path button in the Advanced Options window and select Arduino. Press the OK button. Press OK again to close the Advanced Options display window. Now click OK to close the Analysis Options window. Now create the circuit using the schematic editor of TINA. Click the Insert button to invoke the Insert menu, then select Macro. Open the Arduino Uno.tsm. The Arduino Uno board will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Next, select and place the voltage source and the ground from the basic toolbar and connect them to the Arduino Uno board as shown in the video. Next, create the output part of the circuit. Select and place the LED from the optoelectronic toolbar then select and place the resistor and the ground. Finally, select and place the voltage pin and connect the components with wire to the Arduino board. Now load and compile the Arduino code. Double-click on the Arduino Uno, then press the Enter Macro button. The AT Mega 328P MCU used in Arduino Uno appears. Double click on the MCU. Click the three dots button in the C code field. Then click the C project button in the MCU input file selection window. Click the Add Existing File to Project icon in the MCU IDE window. Then select the previously downloaded C code in the blink.ino file and press Open. OK, let's quickly follow the operation of the C code. Initialize the digital pin LED underscore built-in as an output. Call the loop function to create an infinite loop for the instructions between the opening and closing braces. Turn the LED on with a logic high voltage. Create a 500 millisecond delay. Turn the LED off with a logic low voltage. Create a 500 millisecond delay. Return to the opening brace of the loop function. Now compile the code. Click the Project button in the MCU IDE window and select Compiler Options. In the C Compiler Settings window, Make sure Arduino is selected, then press OK. Next, click on the Make Project button. When the Compile Successful message appears, press the Save Project button. Close the MCU IDE window, then press OK to close the MCU Input File Selection window as well. Click OK to close the Enter Macro window. Save the file using the File Save command. You can also use the Save icon on the toolbar. 
Click the Close icon on the toolbar to close the macro. To see the generated waveform, run Transient Analysis from the Analysis menu. Change the end display value into 2 seconds, then press OK. After the simulation ends, the diagram window appears. It shows a symmetric square wave with a period of 1 second. OK, now let's change the waveform to an asymmetric square wave with the half periods of 1000 milliseconds high and 500 milliseconds low. Close the diagram. Open again the MCU IDE window. And in the MCU IDE window, change the Turn the LED On delay value to 1000. Next, compile and save the changes. Close the MCU IDE window and the Properties window. Save the changes. Then close the macro. Run again Analysis Transient. The required waveform appears. OK, now let's check the operation using the live interactive mode of the program. Note that in the program, one millisecond simulation time is transformed into one second animation time. You can check this in Options dialog from the interactive menu. Now, since our simulation time takes several seconds, change the simulation time unit to one second and press the OK button. Press the TR button. The LED starts blinking with the required timing transformed into seconds. Finally, release the TR button to stop the blinking. Note that this circuit named Arduino Blink.tsc is included in the Examples folder of TINA at the path shown on the screen. Finally, let's see how this circuit works in real life. This concludes our Arduino blinking circuit simulation video. For more information, visit our website at tina.com. Visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash Tina Design Suite.